All right, guys, what's happening um, here in the Felsbrunn map, which I believe is based on an Austrian farm or uh, German maybe, but um, basically I've uh, started from scratch here, um, kind of, yeah, just fresh farm. Haven't done too much here yet uh, compared to my what I call my California farm. I kind of bounce between the two. Um, so, yeah, just want to... Thing, yeah, I recently added some buildings here. So I've got one small shop over there that was there for a while, and then I added this big, just empty shed. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet, but just been acquiring some equipment and stuff that I uh, wanna have. So uh, yeah, this case, and then uh, my soil sampling uh, attachment is currently hooked to this tr tractor. And I've just been uh, started to go through the different fields here and get a soil sample and um, figure out, you know, what I should uh, what I should plan on planting and what should get fertilizer and things like that. Um, so there are a lot of fields uh, near the farm and uh, some are quite small. So, um, you know, they could be like experimental, you know, test plots basically for different things or maybe just make it a fruit orchard or stuff like that so because um, really it's like the small fields are just kind of a pain to really you know uh, you try and try and do uh, anything like harvesting like corn for example like it'd just be easier with a bigger field instead of having a bunch of small ones for crops that you know, I need to get a combine and all that stuff in and out a um, little bit hilly here too which is uh, uh, well not too bad actually um, in this area anyway um, but yeah, if you've never seen this map before, or never used it, or um, I haven't edited this map at all yet, really, uh, no, ter no real terrain management or anything yet. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna do a drive around, and uh, and I do like uh, the area by the river, which is uh, there's a town right by the river, um, so I'm just feeling like uh, feeling like just taking a drive over there. Um, I can figure out where I know I can toggle through vehicles but I uh, I do like to just uh, walk walk up to them and and uh, you know just pretend that I'm in this world instead of uh, in a video game which you know or a, or, or a sim rather but yeah I guess I left yeah I guess I'll just take the truck because my I bought a Mercedes uh, of course for the map you know Germany so but uh, yeah, I think I left it parked at the shop. But anyway, yeah, I was just gonna take a drive around this map since I'm relatively new to it. And uh, I did do a little bit of exploring earlier and I really liked what I saw. So, but I do have a lot of time invested in my California map. Uh, what I keep calling my California map, I don't know what the actual name of it is. Farm send uh, one map. Oop, shoot, I can see that, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's one thing, I've <laughs> the uh, the traffic in this game or this in this sim, it's usually like they drive like super slow, and I've got this I've got the speedometer set up in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour, so I'm not actually going 60 miles an hour, I'm going 60 kilometers per hour, so I'm not driving that fast at all. Um, but the uh, simulated traffic drives like. 30 kilometers per hour, which uh, I think it's like, yeah, it's, that's like really, really slow in my car. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't mind in the truck, so I'm just going to take a drive around. I really like all the, um, how green everything is, like, that's something that caught my eyes, like, uh, well, compared to the other farm anyway, but there's, uh, and the terrain here is like, you see, it's like really starts to get sharp terrain, and um, uh, the roots from there are here, for one thing, or maybe it's just me, but he's in a bigger truck and he's doing fine that's the first time I've actually seen that I think well, well I've only got like a couple hours in this map but that's the first time I've ever seen that truck so that's interesting um, it's cool that there's people walking around um, I believe maybe I left, oh yeah there's, so there's my red truck which yeah that looks out of place um, but yeah that's my uh, that's my American contribution to uh, to the map here uh, besides what I'm driving in now, which I just call a Duramax, because it pretty much, yeah, pretty much matches a Duramax, even though it's missing badging, um, which I could just say is like a, you know, modification. I removed the badges. 
Well, this is a great, this is a great uh, model. I really appreciate this truck and the uh, comments as well. Two really great uh, vehicles. So it's one thing about uh, driving in European cities is like the, this, they're not really made for <laughs> big vehicles. Uh, well, of course, I mean like delivery vans and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it just feels really tight driving this. Um, Especially this might actually be a pedestrian area. No, hey, uh, yeah, this might just be a pedestrian area, but also maybe not. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. It's actually a really good looking town. I will say, like, like this is farm sim. Like this isn't you know like Forza or something where you're expected to be driving down the streets all the time. Or you know, it's like the fact that they uh, there's this much detail here. I really do like that. But there's a lamp right there, so I do have to come back through. I, I have never seen this map at night, now that I think about it. So that'd be interesting to see if these buildings light up and there's a boat. See, there's a river. Um, I should just go back and get into the parking lot. But I did just want to do, like, a drive around. But uh, this is super satisfying to me. Like, this this really feels like somewhere in Europe. You know, you just got these really nice-looking stores and buildings right next to the riverfront. And uh, there's actual ship traffic passing by. This might actually be my new favorite map, is the California map. It's got some quirks and stuff that kind of I don't really like as much. But um, yeah, this is a great, great uh, map. And yeah, like the attention detail just feels like, yeah, there's just a lot more green, greenery here compared to the other map. The other mar map is kind of just, there's a lot of brown going on. It's just like, stuff looks kind of dead. I don't know how to explain it. I'll have to do like maybe a comparison video or something and I'll show you what I mean. got the truck. Look, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the parking spots here are also kind of uh, really tight, but at least there is plenty of parking. So I don't know what I'm doing right now. I've got a... Uh, wow, this is... How do they even put the red truck in this spot? Just doing pull through the Okay. Okay. So yeah, this truck. Oh no. See, I am over the line. Crap. <laughs> I might just pull in here. Yikes. <laughs> How's this? One second here. <laughs> this is embarrassing. But they are tight. I'm, oh, I just got on the corner spot. There we go. Just trying to find a place to park so I can walk around and fit in like a normal civilian here. There we go. Okay. Wow. Is this truck. This truck can't be wider than the Cummins. It's almost on the end spot. All right, let me give this go. Huh. Oh, look, it's almost the same color. That's interesting. Almost the exact same color. Wow. That's... Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Like, oh, look, there's a... Yeah, I have to get my Prius. Because <laughs> that's what that looks like right there. I, I have a Prius vehicle, too, that I want to add to this map. That'd make driving a little easier. Uh, but I did, of course, get the Mercedes because, well, it supposedly blends in, but I don't see too many Mercedes-styled vehicles here, so. Wow, how did I manage to do this? Look, it's almost exactly within the line. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> of course, you'd have to be kind of crazy to want to park next to this since it's right on the line. But yeah, this is one of my favorite trucks, by the way, like, just... It just absolutely incredible uh, detail and styling. Um, and it's a manual, of course. I love that, that too. Um, you know, I haven't quite figured out the mod of shifting a manual transmission in this. Uh, I haven't found the right mod, or I, I haven't uh, spent that much time to really figure it out, honestly. But I think there's a sunroof in this truck too. Yes, there is. So I need to figure out how to get that open um, eventually. But yeah, that is a yes, absolutely huge fan of that. Both of those trucks, the Duramax and the Cummins, are my favorites in this sim and also in real life. Um, but I do have a Power Stroke 6.4 uh, uh, that I should eventually add um, once I start expanding the farms and uh, doing all that stuff. But yeah, this is just really... Uh, oh, I didn't even know this was down here. I really just appreciate the detail in this map. Like This is, uh, this is excellent. There's like I guess those things are hovering above the water, but that's okay. We'll overlook that one. Maybe they're in a drought and it's just got stuck to the land. 
Yeah, I really just, you just easily just, you know, just use this as like a relaxing place to escape from the real world. You know, just take a, take a stroll along the, the river in your European town and escape real life for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, and of course, yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't seen this, uh, I think this is, yeah, I've only got like a couple hours in this, in this particular map, so I haven't even seen the sun go down or come up or do any of that stuff yet, and haven't seen different weather yet, so I'm pretty much brand new to this, to this map, and I am really enjoying it so far. Uh, I'll have to get like a motorcycle or something, uh, something nimble, so I can really, uh, explore some more, and there's a bike right there, actually. <laughs> I don't think that's rideable. I wouldn't take it anyway. But, uh, this it's a brewery, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, no. Not a brewery. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's somewhere I can... Oh, okay. That, I just realized it's a place you can uh, sell stuff. Oh, uh, I'll have to check on that later. So, wow, actually... You know, I'm just looking at the map as I'm walking because I haven't even looked at the map yet. And, uh, wow, there's actually quite a lot that I haven't even seen yet. I'm not sure if I want to <laughs> do all this walking just because it's going to take so long. But yeah, I like how they, I like how this doesn't just stop. Like it's, you know, this is something you'd expect to see in, in you know, any place by a river. It's like, you know, it's, it's got like this nice, uh, yeah, rocks and everything. This is really just, I really appreciate the detail and thought that went into this. Huh. I like this. I still enjoy this sim, even though it's not the most recent one anymore. Um, I haven't, I have not even scratched the surface of all the mods and stuff. I mean, I've, I've like downloaded quite a few, probably over a hundred, but, um, yeah, there's like so many maps and stuff and I just don't have the storage, uh, for all that stuff, but there is just, uh, well, I guess that's an audio, that's an audio station, I guess, a hatchback. Uh, yeah, there's so much uh, that I have not even explored. There's probably so many, so many more maps that are equally incredible and uh, well thought out. But yeah, this is really nice. I'm really liking this. So yeah, I just wanted to do like a kind of. Oh, okay, so I can't go there. Walk around, tour. Not really a tour, just like me exploring and rambling. But uh, yeah, there's like a lot. There's a lot here. But I think this is like one of the highlights, so I wanted to start off at at least an interesting spot. Because um, the rest of the map, of course, is, you know, mostly fields and... I can't say that 100% because I don't remember. There was something else I think I was impressed by, but... Oh, well. That's, yeah. See, it's just... Underwater grasses. I'm assuming that's what that is. That's, yeah. That is what it looks like in real life. <laughs> Right there, that's what it looks like. That is pretty cool. I geek out over stuff like that. Look, it's even got that's yeah, a little bit of rain going on. And whatever's going. I'm not sure what's happening now. That happens in real life too. It's randomly starts raining. Sunny day. Huh. I'm not sure what these are. These look like they're from I don't even know, like fallout. <laughs> what is this? It's like a little shelter or something. Oh, it says farm on it. Okay. There's our clue. Farm. It has something to do with the farm. I'll figure that out. Look, I'll figure that out later. I'll figure out what it is and I'll feel like an idiot because I don't know what it is right now. But that's, uh, that, again, I'm just exploring and, oh, it's actually raining right now. It's weird. So this is probably somewhere I'll be coming back to. Uh, yeah, because this is an export site. Most likely. I think that's, yeah. This is where I would come to sell stuff, I think. But, yeah, this is pretty wild, actually. It just... This, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, it's even got a logo on the crane. That's, yeah, look at the detail. Rusty steel. Plates here. I really like this. This really looks excellent. It'd be cool if a ship actually came up and parked every once in a while. Maybe it does. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I'm just satisfied with watching him go by too. Like you can just stand here and watch him go by and uh, uh, really just, yeah, live in this map and just enjoy it. 
yeah, this is pretty nice. And eventually I'll be doing more driving. Probably not in this video because wow, the lady. I've already talked for 15 minutes. But I just wanted to do... Yeah, if you have like, if you have no experience with this map or you've never even checked it out, this kind of gave you an idea. It might be worth uh, spending time in this map if you're looking for something different. Versus uh, FS19, not the newest one. But yeah, this is... Uh, I really like this. It's still raining. It's hard to believe this is actually like in farm sim. Like this is this could be any game. This could be you know a detective looking for clues at the abandoned ship dock or something. Like <laughs> this could be you know you know, this could be a lot of different things. But the, the amount of you know the amount of time and effort that went into this for a farm sim, you know, it's pretty. Uh, I really appreciate that. I think I hear, oh no, was that a boat or a train? Oh, maybe there's a train in this uh, map. Because I see a dark line on the, oh, maybe there is. Oh, that's really exciting. If there's a train, that would be very exciting. Let me get over there real quick. Let's do some, let's do some train spotting and farm soon. Let's see what we have. I have that feeling that I'm getting wet, even though this is in the sim. Still have that sensation that oh, okay, holy cow. Yeah, wow. It's so there's a rail line. That is wild. I actually didn't know that was here. And I've also got rail sim, so that'd be really cool just to like play that immediately afterwards and kind of just get uh, go from one sim to the other. Just feel like it's all combined. Do that with flight sim too, actually, like FSX. I'll, uh, yeah, like, you know, I said I have a farm in California and then like one here in Germany or Austria, so use the flight sim sometimes to actually fly between those two places. I could actually, I don't, I, have to, I haven't done it yet, but I could do that. I wonder if you can switch to the train like you can in the other map. I don't expect it to come by anytime soon, but that is really cool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to spending more time on this map. And, uh, yeah, this is great. Oh, look, the rain doesn't fall under the bridge. Look, see, that's like something so small. But, oh wait, no, it's kind of falling under there. But anyway. Sometimes you find goofy stuff like that, like rain passes through buildings and stuff. and. Yeah, this is great. I love it. Cool. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I think I'll end it here. 18 minutes, and I don't even know how I've spent that much time already, but... This is a great map. I'm uh, probably gonna be making a lot more videos from here eventually. Um, maybe we'll do some train spotting. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't checked out this map, or you're looking for something new, or... Um, yeah, definitely recommend giving this a try.